So, Chris, tell us more. Uh, you said, you know, a lot of, you worked with a lot of artists such as JB. Uh, can you tell us, like, besides JB probably came into the studio, right? To record some Yeah, stuff? for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. Who else? Like, what are, who other, like, which other surprising guests, like, came by um, the studio? Surprising. Well, I had a surprise guest a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Donnie Wahlberg. Oh, my gosh. Donnie Wahlberg? Donnie Wahlberg. Tell us. It was pretty cool. I got a call from my boy Ivan at Universal. What up, Ivan? Yeah. And, um... He said Donnie's coming to town and he needs a studio to record in tonight. Yeah. And uh, he wanted to know if I could get him in. Yeah. Because, you know, Ivan's my boy, I'm his yeah. guy. Yeah. And uh, I said, eh, I think I could do that. So I got him in and it was, I, th I first thought it was he was recording music or recording a song. But it was actually, he does a radio show on Friday nights called Back Rub. Mm-hmm. And he was recording his radio show. Oh. So I did that for him. Yeah. And uh, ladies. Yeah, <laughs> show definitely for the ladies, not for the guys. <laughs> and wait, he was six hours late, right? Like he was six hours late. Well, uh, not late. Yeah, I had to wait six hours. Oh for him gosh, to yeah. Um, because I got a call. Off, I spoke to his guy in LA, mm -hmm. and he's like, I don't know where he is, but he's in the air. I don't know where he's coming from. Yeah. But as soon as he lands, I'll get him to call you. Yeah. So he called me around six thirty, yeah. going to seven, which was okay. Yeah. And said they just landed. Um, and they were going to get something to eat, and they'd come to the studio. Yeah. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe two hours, two and a half hours from now. But uh, they didn't show up till 11.30. Wow. So. Oh, so celebrities for you. But, you know, yeah. it's all you, good. Yeah. Celebrities, you know. Yeah. And you said Mariah Carey did, like, some... Uh, uh, Mariah Carey recorded her Glitter album. Wow. Uh, not here in 210, but yeah. downstairs in the cool. booth. Cool. Um, because there's three studios I work out of here mainly, oh. which is 210, this yeah. one, 211, which is a bigger version. Yeah. And the Glenn Gould Studio, which is a recording studio with seats. It's got cool. 341 seats in yeah. it. A lot of artists come in. They do shows. Yeah. Um, they do live recordings mm -hmm. there. We do a lot of film scores there as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. um, we are doing an IMAX feature in January. Wow. Uh, we did one last year, IMAX uh, mm -hmm. Under the Sea. Yeah. We did the Ooh, yes. I heard of that yeah, one. Yeah. It was narrated by Jim Carrey. Mm -hmm. So we, yeah. did the, we did the score for that. So yeah. we, do a, we do a lot of film scores. Yeah. Um, a lot of artists come and record records. Mm -hmm. Molly Johnson, who's a big uh, Canadian jazz artist, yeah. um, she recorded her last record here in 211. Yeah. I was fortunate enough to work on that record, and yeah. it won a Juno. Oh, so I'm feeling congrats. Good about that. Yeah, congrats. I could actually get a Juno. It'll cost yeah. me 500 bucks, but <laughs> I could get a Juno. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. But I think I'll wait for JB's Juno. Yeah, you so, done know. Uh, so you want to show us some more stuff in the studio? Like, what do you do? Um, I can show you some stuff. Yeah. What I do is I try yeah. and make things sound good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'll give you any audio examples today yeah, because sure. it's pure exclusive things. Sure. Oh I'm yes, for on, sure, for and sure. Not released yet. Oh, of and course. I release the leak things. Of course. How about that. like how do you how did you learn um, how to do this stuff? A lot of it was self-taught. Yeah. Because I, you know, being a producer and artist and working yeah. with different bands, mm -hmm. or I would always go to other people's studios yeah. to record. Yeah. And I would just pick things up along the way and yeah. ask them questions, and yeah. then I have my own studio, so I would learn yeah. at home and teach myself yeah. things. Yeah. And then, you know, I decided, hey, you got to go to school, man, and learn yeah. what you, what exactly. you haven't yeah. learned on the streets Yeah, or there's so many different buttons here. Like, um, it's so confusing. They are. It, it looks yeah. it looks very intimidating. Yeah. But once you know, like, once you know one strip, yeah. then they're all pretty much the same. Yeah. So you know everything. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of knowing what you want to do with those yeah. strips and, mm -hmm. and how to manipulate sound and yeah. where to place things so they sound good. And yeah. it's not just one big clusterfuck, mm -hmm. as people like to say around here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the best recording studios, uh, the Euphonics console, it's digital, yeah. so everything yeah. is uh, savable, you can save everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then back under here is a rack of, of what we call outboard gear, Yeah. and it's the best in the business. Yeah. Um, we've got Avalon mic pre's. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a million dollar studio, and if you want your shit to sound good, then... Yeah. And you were seeing some, uh, like, your, uh, this guy was asking you, how do you, you know, get to the top so fast. Yeah, well I was recording a friend of mine, yeah. somebody I know, um, brought him in to do some recording. Yeah. And he brought a friend with him. Yeah. And as soon as he walked in, he was like, oh wow, this is amazing, man. Like, if I could just learn all this stuff, yeah. because I know I would be good at it. Yeah. Because I know I have an ear for music. Yeah. And everybody thinks they have an ear for music because yeah. we, we like songs and we don't like songs. Yeah. We like songs that are number one. Yeah. So we think we have an ear for music, yeah. but there's so much more detail to that. Yeah. Um, but he said to me, you know, he was asking me the same thing, like, how'd you get started? Yeah. And how'd you learn all this stuff? Yeah. So I tried to explain to him, and he's like, man, he goes, so tell me, he goes, what's the fast track? How can I, like, learn this stuff in, like, a month? 
so I can do what you're doing. Yeah. I was kind of taken aback by that because I've never had anybody ask me that yeah. before. Mm -hmm. um, so my response to him was, dude, I don't really know the fast track. Mm -hmm. It took me 20 years, more than yeah. 20 years yeah. to get where I'm at. Yeah. So I don't know what the fast track is. Mm -hmm. Um, so I say that to all you guys out there too. There's no real fast track, mm -hmm. not just to music or becoming an engineer, yeah. but anything you do in exactly. life. Exactly. There's no shortcuts. There's, there are shortcuts, but mm -hmm. there's no fast track. Yeah. Shortcuts will just leave you short in the end. Mm -hmm. You're going to miss out on things. You're yeah. not going to know everything, right? Yeah. So my advice is just grind, man. Mm -hmm. If you have a passion or a desire to do something or achieve it, yeah. then just focus, stay positive, and keep grinding. Yeah. And it'll work out. For sure. You're going to continuously learn things, ask people questions, and the reality is school helps. Mm -hmm. You need professional training. Definitely. Um, there's a lot of casts that don't have the ability or the means to go to school, mm -hmm. and it's unfortunate. Um, so that's something I'm, I'm working on doing in the future yeah. is, is bringing my knowledge yeah. to the youths them and teaching them hands-on. That's awesome. Right? Like yeah. setting up a program at the resource center or something like that and teaching kids and giving them the opportunity. Mm -hmm. right? Because, you know, I've... I won't say I've had it lucky, but I've I've always had the desire and the passion, yeah. and I've always worked for it, mm -hmm. right? So I always had my jobs, and mm -hmm. I've always worked, and then taken that money and yeah. bought gear mm -hmm. or done different things. But yeah. it's always been towards music, yeah. And I've always so I've always done something and mm -hmm. music, yeah. And I remember one job that I had a few years ago, and the owner of the company came to me and he's like, "Yeah, so I hear you're in this music thing and." How's that working out? And at the time, it was great because I was like a ghetto celebrity. Mm -hmm. I was doing shows. I was yeah. signing autographs. Yeah. And it was really, it was really good. But he told me you need to decide. You can't straddle the fence. Mm -hmm. So I made my decision. 